So, I, uh, I'm going to Florida. That's a little indecent. Okay. Um, I'm going to Florida this coming week. And I've been a little concerned just because um, before I moved, I've been really stressed out. And I was eating a lot. And I had gained a lot of weight. Um, like, I was close to the heaviest I've been, which is pretty big. Um, and I was like, oh shit, I'm going to Florida and going to these, these cool events and I am not looking the way I want to look. I'm very uncomfortable in my skin. Oh, excuse me. So I started, you know, and I, 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 I've been really good and, you know, my metabolism is such that I put weight on quick, really quickly, but I also take it off really quickly. And if I'm focusing on it, I can take a lot off. So, um, in the past less than two weeks, I've, I've lost about 15 pounds, let's say 13, maybe 13, 15, depending on at what time of the day I get on the scale. <laughs> um, so, and then I decided to go on a, a water fast for five days, but I didn't really make it through that. I I sabotaged myself uh, at the end of, of day three. So when I come back, I'm going to go back on one because I really do enjoy doing it in the sense that I get a lot of pride. I mean, number one, it is actually very healthy. You know, it sounds like it's not because it's like, oh, I don't eat for five days, but it's actually quite good for you. And um, it gets rid of a lot of the dead stuff and renews stuff and lots of really lot there's a lot of I should find that lecture and put it in the bottom here um but no because YouTube doesn't like it when you put in a we'll see I'll figure it out um anyway point being um I wanted to like rapidly lose a lot of weight which I guess I did but um I'm certainly not down to where I want to be I wanted to be the size I was last time I was in Florida. And that's still like another 20 pounds away. <laughs> Maybe 15. Um, but between 15 to 20 pounds uh, lighter than than I am now. was what I, I was 15 to 20 pounds lighter than I am now. Uh, last time I was down in Florida. And I felt okay about myself back then. But I mean, I'm certainly... My ideal, and it's not even really a weight thing, right? It's a size thing. My ideal size, I want to get back down to like a 4'6", which I think is totally, totally doable. Um, but right now I'm kind of up at like a... Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, no, I'm at a 14. Let's just, like, if I'm going to lay it all out, right? I'm just going to lay it all out. I'm at a 14 right now. I'm not super psyched about it. Um... I'm hoping to get down to 12 by the time I leave on Wednesday, but that's only a few days. But really, one size tends to be about five pounds for me. And five pounds is totally doable in the next Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Next three, yeah, I can do five pounds. Um, yeah, I can do five pounds. So I can get down to 12. I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, haven't, uh, I haven't metered out how many pounds per size since since I got older so um not actually sure if that's true but <laughs> uh, I think that's about right we'll see anyway point being I was gonna get a little down on myself um because of the fact that I hadn't gotten like I, I got to the you know I, I lost about 15 and I kind of plateaued and um and then like with the water with the water uh fast i lost some but then like at one point during the day right wait i'm weighing myself way too much i mean once a day is good for me in the morning because um it keeps me motivated it's not good for everybody everybody's different but for me in the mornings um if i weigh myself i like i generally like i said i lose weight quickly so when i see it goes down it keeps me motivated because like oh, okay look i went down again today I'm going to go, you know, keep doing what I'm doing. Or even if it goes up a little, it's like, okay, now I'm going to, you know, drink more water, blah, blah, blah. Um, but, I, you know, I realize that I'm not going to be a size four 
in the next three days. <laughs> three days, shit. I gotta get my stuff together. Shit. I gotta get my stuff together. Yeah, I gotta do some stuff. Um, anyway, so I, yesterday and today I've kind of come to terms with that and I'm okay. Like I did try on the dress that I want to wear and it's a little bit tight. If I can lose a couple of pounds the next few days, was as I lose a few more pounds the next few days, uh, it'll fit better. But I'm waking up looking at myself and I'm like, you know what? I actually look, I look pretty good. <laughs> like for the weight that I'm at. I look and I think I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm not, I don't have a problem with the way I look right now, which is, I mean, I, I, I'm, I, there's definite room for improvement and I plan on improving greatly. Um, you know, my, my, my birthday is the end of next month and I plan on being a size 10, 8, 10 by then. So we'll see. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it the way I, I've looked at a lot. I've started looking at a lot of things lately, which is, you know, the past several years, I've sort of given myself a little grace for being where I am, being okay with that and realizing, you know, and still working for change. Um, and I think that I'm, I'm extending that to my weight now, which is, a big deal for me because I'm always, I'm very body conscious. And I mean, even now, like, it's not like I want to go around showing certain parts of me off. You know what I mean? Like the unfortunate thing with women's dresses is that we all, we all show arms and granted you might think like, Oh, she's in a tank top right now and she has no problem. Like I'm not super, super happy about my arms. Right. But that's just me being honest. <laughs> Let's be honest. Right. Like we all have issues with areas of our body and I have a lot of them, but I'm not, I'm really happy that I'm not, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, oh, that's all right. <laughs> you know, it's okay. okay. You know, like, I mean, I lost 15 pounds and really rapidly. So, you know, of course I'm looking, there's like the, the sharp contrast there, but, um, yeah, I'm going to start drinking more water and, uh, think for the rest of the time that I'm, uh, between now and Florida, I really only have one Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, three days. I gotta start putting stuff together. I gotta, there's things that I gotta, I gotta, I gotta um, sell those shoes. And the stupid futon, no. Mm -mm. So I've got a futon that I'm supposed to sell, but the two big screws that, screws that hold it together are missing. Now I put them in a plastic bag and I'm pretty sure I put them on my father's workbench. Uh, but we've torn, we, all of us have torn the house apart looking for them. Um, and they're not anywhere to be found. And like, honest to God, I think he threw them out. <laughs> he might not remember that he did. And my mom insists that he wouldn't, but he has a history of throwing my shit out. So anyway, whether he did or not, the point is the screws aren't here and I can't sell the futon and that's 80 bucks. And that was going to be my Uber rights <laughs> to and from the airport. Uh, so there's that. Um, mm. So I want to shoot. So anybody out there who wants to buy those shoes, they have a listing on my website, on my Facebook book. Like, if you've got a size seven foot or even a seven and a half, one of those pairs is seven and a half. Please buy them. <laughs> They're nice shoes. You can get them at a steep discount. Um. Uh. Anyway, point being, um. Yeah. So I'm, it's big progress that I've made. I'm really happy that I'm not as self-conscious about my shape as I have been in the past. Um, yeah, so I'm just, I'm just, I'm going to keep with that. I'm going to be proud of the, the progress that I've made um, and look forward to the wins that I'm going to make in the future, uh, which is, and they're not, you know, not far away wins. They're like, you know, by the time I leave, I want to be, five pounds lighter or 
I want to fit into a size 12, let's say that. I want to be a size 12 by the time that I leave, which I think is a doable, especially going to the gym. <sighs> and lifting weights and stuff, doing that sort of thing. Um, and then shawls, shawls hide a matter of loss, like a lot of sins, not sins. I know it's not good to refer to them that way, but uh, places you not eager to um, perhaps showcase, highlight things that you're looking to kind of softly cover up. Shawls are great for that. I mean, I've got several lace shawls that I like to put on with dresses that I wear because I look better. <laughs> I feel more confident. And they're, they're pretty and you still get to wear the pretty dress. Um, anyway, that's what I have to say. And I'm just happy about the progress that I'm making. And um, it, so again, like it's it's not didn't happen overnight. And the, and the progress that I made, yes, I'm I'm happy with losing the weight and looking better. But what I'm the ha the progress that I made that I'm happy with is not I'm not berating myself. Um, I'm encouraging myself. I'm not unhappy with the way that I look. Um, and I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm encouraging myself. I'm supporting myself and saying, you know, you look great. You're doing a great job. And it's only going to get better. Um, which is huge progress from what I used to do. Um, so I'm grateful for this. And uh, the other thing is I was a little concerned that I was getting depressed. <sighs> Tired. Um, because I've been sleeping, so I've been sleeping a lot. Um, but I think it's just because I'm having a hard time sleeping during the day, during, you know, at night. And, um, and, uh, I think, you know, I think it'll be better when, uh, when I have my own place and I don't have to wake up every night to my father at two o'clock in the morning doing stuff in the kitchen for an hour. Um, so that doesn't help me, but... Yeah, uh, so I was worried I was getting a little depressed, um, and I've been thinking a few depressed thoughts, but again, like, those are patterns that I'm recognizing and I'm interrupting, so I'm proud of myself for that, but when you're in the middle of it, you really don't want to interrupt. You want to go with the pattern. You're like, I'm going to feel so much better to think of horrible thoughts. <laughs> and it doesn't, but it does, because it's comfortable, and it's, there's this, there, there's still this, just like, there's this desire to torture myself like not to, to like, yeah to like turn the screws you know i was gonna say not torture myself but to turn the screws and it's like that's a torture reference <laughs> that's a torture reference john um so this but there's a desire to yeah to hurt myself because it's still it's still there because it, it's it's such a familiar thing to like berate and belittle and just like squish to the ground like a like a sort of bug you know, um, but I'm avoiding that. Like I hear that and it's just like, oh, it's hard to pull myself away from it though. When it starts, it's like, it's like I'm stuck to it and I have to like, uh, 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 uh. like it's hard to get off of that. Like I'm so, like it's hard to get away from it, but I'm working on it because I know that even though in the moment it feels, it's gonna feel better and it feels right. And like, uh, it's just this, 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 perverse satisfaction that comes along with being horrible to myself just belittling and berating and it's it's horrible it's horrible it's a per but it's a perverse satisfaction it's like oh yeah it feels good it's weird <laughs> it's, just, it's weird <laughs> um i mean i don't think it's weird in a it, it, I, I like the i like being weird in a good way this is like not great though right this is not the way that we want to be we want to be loving on ourselves we want to be kind to ourselves um we want to show ourselves i want to show myself that i do love myself and i do care for myself and i'm gonna i'm not gonna allow myself to treat myself that way anymore and that's part of this right that's part of this this commitment um protecting myself, even when I kind of feel like I don't want to. 
um, protecting myself from me. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I kind of have to report upon, and it's not something that happened in a day, it's something that's happened over a number of years, so you guys keep at it, it's a lifelong thing, and no matter where you are on the, on the path of self development, um, you know, just keep in mind, remember whether you already know this or you're feeling frustrated because things aren't happening as quickly as you'd like them to. It's important to, to acknowledge the progress you've made and be happy with it. And, you know, be like, well, I used to be there and now I'm here. Um, and here is much better than there, <laughs> but I can also see to the future where I'm going. Um, and sometimes like the depressed times I've had over the, the past few days, it, it's, I haven't been able to see the future. It's just been like, oh my God, it's always going to be like this. And it's never, ever going to end. And I'm never going to, you know what I mean? That's, but those are lies that I'm telling myself false. What is it? False something appearing real, false. E something fear false, I don't remember um, appearing real false I don't know um, false expectations appearing real I don't remember I don't remember point 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 is that I am grateful for the ability to look back and see where I was see where I am celebrate the progress and look forward to the future but also be in the present and live here even though it's not exactly what I want it to be <laughs> but at least it's life and I'm not missing as much of it as I was by wishing it away um you know wishing I was in a different space and time because that's not where I was that's that's it's important to to be in the moment <laughs> anyway uh that's it and uh, I just wanted to remind you guys that you can't always choose as I am choosing right now. Yeah, I'm going to start that one over. <laughs> you can't always choose to have a grateful night.